Hi, this is Steve. I'm here to do a quick demonstration of CN1ML. It's a markup language based on HTML for creating user interfaces in Codename 1. So I've got my Codename 1 project open. I've got a few forms I've already created, uh, but the key is I have installed the uh, CN1ML NetBeans module that you can get from GitHub page. Just go there and you'll be able to go to installation and there's a link to download it directly and you can just install it in NetBeans. And once it's installed, you can add a CN1 ML template. Uh, at first it's not going to appear right there. You'd have to go into the file thing, uh, either search for CN1 and <clears throat> there it is, or you could navigate to other and you'd see CN1ML template there. So I'm going to create a new one here. And the name I'm going to use for the template is going to be the same name that I want for the, uh, the class that is generated from it. So I'm just going to call it, uh, let's see, my already forgotten of my new forms, so my old form, we'll say. And when I first create it, Let's see, there's actually two files that have been created. There's one that's myoldform.cn1ml, and the other one's myoldform.java. So this is just some default content there uh, to show you some of the, uh, the syntax you would use in it. And you can see that myoldform.java is the generated Java file. And if I make a change, it'll automatically change the Java file. So uh, you can see this is just regular HTML. Uh, with a couple of added attributes. So we've got layout to specify for a particular element what type of layout we want. And uh, in some cases, like I'm using a border layout here, you need to specify the layout constraint in child modes. Uh, so in this case, I'm saying that this should appear in the north panel of the border. This is the center panel. And I could also create, uh, actually here's the south panel. And I could also create a West panel because border is towards west. And there's the west there. Now, if I want to use this class, oh, and here it is because I just saved it, it pops up saying that uh, my old form.java has been modified externally. And I just say yes to reload it. And uh, what I'm going to do here is go to my main, I've got a bigger application going here, but I'm just going to create some code to use this class that I just made. And so my old form, you see it's just a regular class. I'll get into what some of this stuff is in a second. This new context just returns a, a hash map that has some variables that I pass to it. In this case, the template doesn't need any variables, but uh, it could be an empty hash map. And uh, we've got a function to create a form with a title. And now this is where I'm going to use a method on this class that I've got. Whoops, actually before doing this, let's just look at what methods are there. Okay, so you can see there's uh, a few public methods that I've got. I've got get root, which is always there. It gets uh, whatever the body tag is converted to. Then uh, get submit and get name fields were generated because I added name attributes. These so there's they're actually accessors to get the actual button and uh, text field. They're generated there. And you can actually see. Here is where the, well, the, the accessories were generated. So anyway, I'm going to go back to my demo page here. Create old form. I need to get the root container. OK, now I'm going to add some code to actually show us. So I've got a main menu function here. Yeah. 
I'm just going to make sure that when I click on the my old form option that it's going to show the form that I have. That should compile, so let's open that up in the simulator. And so you can see I've got a few forms. All of these were created using a CN1 ML. Uh, so here's the last one I just added, my old form. It's got this hello world. Uh, it's got this uh, the rest panel in the main. It's got a just a table, the main, main field, the submit button, and uh, goodbye world at the bottom which is exactly what we have there. <clears throat> so if I want to start making some changes to this, uh, let's just rip this whole thing out and start fresh. I don't actually need anything. I, I, I could actually go straight right down to the body. So I'd be quite happy with that. If I just uh, throw in some text, I can even take this away. Let's just make it a hello world. So that will regenerate it and start it up again. Uh, form, and now it just says hello world. Uh, so if I wanted to add a text field after that, let's load. There's no text field. <clears throat> now by default it's using a flow layout. So if I wanted to change that to uh, a different layout I could. Right now there's not that much of a difference, but if I added uh, say an additional label, uh, say a button, So you can see that it's <clears throat> laying it out using a flow layout, but I can also lay it out using a box layout. And that should make it show up more like a list. And there it is, we've got Hello World, Click Me, and uh, this here. Now I can also do things like I'm going to wrap this in a label so I can customize it. And I can set the UI ID, which is the way that uh, Codename One applies styles. Okay, now our form, and <clears throat> you can see the format change. It's now centered because I'm using the title UI ID, so it's the same as uh, the actual title of the form. So there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do with this. Um, if you want a full reference, you go to the uh, GitHub page. It's got all the documentation. It's got a number of samples here, the simple list, a contact form, a map uh, that I can actually go through here quickly. And then I've got a documentation page that shows you the different uh, tags and what you can expect from them. Um, so just to go through a uh, couple of examples here. Uh, you can see I've got a few different forms. Uh, let's see here, I've got a contact form that I put together. Um, one thing to note here, you can use script tags to help initialize if uh, you want to customize uh, how something is generated. Uh, you can see I'm doing that same trick with UI ID here. Uh, you can use table tags to set up a table. I've got a bit of a contact form going on here uh, with separate sections. And if I, that's the contact form one, so if I run this, and here's the contact form. As you can see I used a uh, select digit, a country uh, select. And if we go back and take a look at, uh, we can do a simple list, you can see the uh, template for that. So it's very simple. I've got a border layout and a root. Uh, then I've got a select list. But uh, I use size equals five to tell it to be a list instead of a combo box. I tell it it's got to be in the center. And I give it the options. And there's uh, my simple list. 
Um, here's an example of uh, just using the map. So the map one is quite simple. I use the class attribute to specify that I want this to turn into a map component. You can actually specify any class, even your own classes. And that's, make sure it's up here, just a, a map component. And I could use custom initialization using, uh, say, a script tag uh, in here if I wanted to customize how it was set up. It's familiarize myself with the uh, map component uh, UI or API. Where is it? Maps. Map component. Okay, so we gave it the no argument constructor. Let's see what was going on. Is there I don't know any uh, coordinates off the top of my head. Um, seem to. Oh, we can zoom in a couple of levels. So let's see where it is right now. Um, let's do self zoom in. Self zoom in. Not sure if that'll actually work because it might have to wait until it's uh, been rendered. Uh, but let's. Uh, give this a run. I'll comment on the syntax here in a moment. Oh, yeah, it worked. So you can see it's actually zoomed in quite a bit more than it was. So if you put a script tag in, it will automatically operate on the parent component that you're working on. And there's a, a special variable self that gives you access to that component. So if you need some, uh, a special, some special initialization, probably better form to put this in a separate Java file and just give this a name. Well, actually, we don't need to give that a name because it's uh, the root. And then we can uh, provide that in a uh, controller class. OK, well, it, uh, this is just meant to be a, a quick introduction. So I think I'm going to stop here. Um, please, if, you, uh, if you're interested, go to the uh, GitHub page. And uh, download it and start using it.